Hi guys, John here. Uh, sorry I haven't made a video in a while. I've been, uh, I was actually, uh, quit the channel, but, uh, after quite a few subscribers and quite a few comments saying where I am, um, I started to, to reboot the channel. So what I'd like to say, I just went to, uh, Heritage Poultry in, um, the Richlands today, if you're in Queensland, Brisbane, uh, not Queensland, sorry, if you're in Brizzy, just check them out on the internet, uh, Heritage Poultry and Produce, um, you can see that's their number right there. Um, so like what I, what I want to say, I got three chicks, so um, I've just kept them in my rat cage now, That this is a meter by two foot by three foot high um, which is fully substantial for the what they are now they're next to my goldfish which are over here and the axolotl which is down here um, and I've got quite a few new things that I've been or I've started to do one of them um, I've got a quail I've got quails now uh, and a homemade coop I made and I'm actually starting to breed quails so um, if you guys are looking in are you, if you're interested in a if you're in Brisbane and you're looking into having some quails, um, Caternix quails, they're the largest quails in Australia. So um, you can't get any bigger than mine. Um, not specifically mine, it's just the breed that I bought them off. Um, so yeah, hit me up on uh, Facebook. I'll put my link in the description and you can just talk to me there. But um, like I said, I got this. They're just in my rat cage and a spare reptile lot I have. Um, the beta dragons are doing fine. Um, so I just, these are about two hours old in here, and those are them, if you can see, they're over there, um, and see if I can get them out, so, hard to see, but, um, here's one, uh, this is, I'm pretty sure it's called a, a Kona, um, they're really nice as they get older adults, um, as you can see, really small compared to my hand, I've got a pretty big hand and they're pretty small, and so, that's them, uh, they're all girls, supposedly, um, you can never actually tell at this young age, but, um, I'll put her back, oop, jumpy down, and I'll just grab the other ones, out. So bear with me guys, I'll grab this little girl, this is another Akona, Oop. here, as you can see here, Let's see if it wants to focus, there you go. Nice, very small. She got like a little white patch on the top of her head. Oop. <laughs> he wants to go back. Sorry about this shakiness. And a little at the back, that's called the eyes are brown. <laughs> and she's the oldest. They're about three weeks, uh, two weeks old, both, all of these guys. And uh, they, I think they're like $15 each. So, um, that's what I had. And actually, I'll put that in the food processor. I've got, um, so that's those guys. And I've just got them under a heat light and got their water dish in here. And, um, all they eat, if you can see them eating, it's this stuff. It's in here. I've got my tub. These, this isn't for the, the chicks. These are for the quails that I have. And that's just their chick starter feed. The quails only eat chick starter feed. And, um, so let's go have a look at them. And we also bought some, uh... Some laying mash, some stuff like that. So let's have a look. Uh, this is the quails. As you can see, it's a, it's a pretty large thing, and it's all homemade. Um, I made it myself. It's uh, got corrugated iron top, and uh, really durable. I've got tarps on the side for the rain and to keep the heat out because it does get really hot where I live in Brisbane. And um, I got the tarp on top just in case in the afternoon for me to uh, lay it down. It's full snake mesh around it. Um, I've dug a, like a ditch in the ground so like nothing can grow under it. And um, this is all my making. So here you go. I've got my little white girl here. 
she's nice and big, having a bit of a spaz. You can't really see her. I have my um, guys here, and that's pretty much it, guys. I mean, I'll do some more videos about how to care for each of these. Uh, they've just got their water and food in here. And uh, so thanks, guys. This is uh, John's Dragons. And uh, keeping it real. So, see ya.